horizontal fracture that is right below the osseous crest. So we know there's no way we can extract this tooth and take it out in, 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 as a whole. It'll, it'll come out in two pieces. Okay, so how do you retrieve it? You can reflect the flap. You can perhaps do a socket shield. We talked about it before. We can start drilling around it and mobilizing it. But really, a very simple way is to use the Benex, Benex extraction system by inserting an extraction screw into the root, which is basically an anchor. And once you have this extraction screw, you connect a cable to it and a pulley system that connects to the cable. This pulley system has a bumper that is seen now in white that has to be placed perpendicular to the root. And by rotating a knob in clockwise direction, that applies a pull on the, on the cable that pulls on the extraction screw that pulls on the root. And all of a sudden, a very difficult extraction turns into a super simple extraction. I'll be honest, it's, it, it's ridiculously simple. It's not for every case. If a tooth is ankylosed, it's not going to work. If the tooth has uh, significant curves, it's not going to work. But we know that central incisors usually don't, usually straight. And I've, I have retrieved roots that were broken halfway in the socket or in the apical, apical third. Really tricky. I have a lot of information about that. I want you to see what's out there. What's the best bone graft? We talked about the compartment technique. How are we going to graft the socket? Do we place an immediate? These are all considerations you have. We can place bone, gel foam, collagen, nothing. We can use something that is called a dentin graft. 